Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So one more very simple interview question, but uh, people, they get confused and uh, what is the sequence that we have to follow? You have to uh, convert a normal string into a capitalized word string. For example, let's see if I'm passing Naveen Automation Labs like this and then everything is in a small letter. So the output should be like this. Naveen Automation Lab, it should be combined a string and uh, the first letter of each and every word should be capital letter so you can see that n is capital a is capital and then l is capital over here and then it should be combined without space okay so if i'm passing let's see four to five strings together like this uh, space separated or something like this then first of all you have to remove the spaces and then you have to combine them together and then you have to make sure the first letter of the each and every string should be the capital letter that is what the capitalized word that you have to create it over here how to use this it's pretty simple like for example let's see the what is the basic algorithm or basic structure that we are going to follow so let's see this is my uh, one string over here for example let's see string str is equal to this this is string str i can see this is the space over here like this so first of all that i'm going to split on the basis of uh, uh, space so i'm going to apply that str dot uh, uh, split over here on the basis of some space so this is a space a regular expression we can use it over here and then uh, it will create one array over here because the split will always return an array so let's see this is the uh, zero the one and then this is two so this is like zero then this is one and this is two over here and then here you will be getting Naveen and here you will be getting let's see automation and then you are getting labs over here so what we will do we will say okay fine this is something let's see my uh, word array that we have captured over here okay so with this we will try to iterate that so i'll just pick this particular guy and then from this zeroth word zero so for example let's see from word zero which is equal to naveen here simple so my target is that the first letter of this particular first element of this array of this string we have to convert that into a capital letter so how will you capture that so i simply say i can say that word zero dot Maybe I can use a substring function and then I'm saying, okay, fine, just give me the zeroth value or let's see the first value of that. So I'm saying, okay, from zero to one, whatever is available. So it means zero to one means this first will be ignored. It will capture only Naveen from here. I mean, it will capture only N from here. So this will give you N over here. And then I'm saying, okay, fine. Then after that, you just dimple convert that into an uppercase. So here I can use an uppercase method. So this capital a small n will be converted to a capital n here so that we have already captured then after that i can see that here then we have to append with a bean a b double e n n we have already captured and a b double e n we have to ignore that so we don't need to uh we don't need to convert into a capital letter so in that way what should i do in that way whatever the w0 substring that we have already captured what i can say that okay fine w0 next time again i'm going to capture with the help of let's see once again the substring method i'm saying okay fine better you start taking the substring from one to up to the length of this particular string it means from a to n you just capture that so this guy will give you a bean here right and then whatever let's see this is my a t variable and then this is my r variable and i'll do one thing i'll just combine t plus r together so t plus r means n and then a bean together will be combined will be concatenated like that and then i'll write in a for loop here with the help of let's see from i is equal to 0 to 2 it means from i equal to uh, 0 to the length of this particular w dot uh, length i'll be using it this up to this particular array length so i'll be using this particular w length and then i'll exactly do the same thing for this guy also and for this guy as well and then finally whatever the resultant i'm getting it let's say i'm going to store in this particular resultant and then i'll be getting the concatenated string and uh, i'll be getting something like this this is a naveen then automation something like this and then one space then laps over here and then after that we have to keep removing this space also so then i'll be using simple uh, replace all method i can use it over here replace all method and with this replace all i'm going to replace all the spaces that you have with nothing over here like this so this will remove all the spaces from this string and we will be getting the exact Naveen automation lapse without a space and with first letter with the capital letter. Okay.
So it's a very simple logic that we have to write. First, we have to capture the individual value from this particular array. Uh, part divided into two parts. This is first we have to move it to the capital N over here and then this again we have to capture and then append it once again with this guy and then same thing with with the second element and the third element also and then replace all to remove the spaces. So let's see how to do this in the form of coding. Right, so I'll just come back over here. So this is a method let's see that I have already returned. We will supply one string over here. So how will you write a string? So I, I mean how will you write a method for this? I'm going to create first of all that this uh, whatever str dot uh, split function that I'm going to use it and then the regular expression for uh, spaces guys you have to use one forward slash and one escape character then s you have to use it over here it means split on the basis of space you can write one single space also that also you can write then this split will always give you let's see the words array here it will give you one string array here right so obviously this particular uh, string will be divided into three parts, zero, then one, and then two over here. Okay. Then I'm saying that, okay, fine. I'm going to store one uh, result also. Initially, let's see, it's blank. It's not having anything here. Then I'm going to start a for loop here. So for example, let's see, I'm going to start a for loop because I have to iterate this words array. So I'll write, okay, that uh, I can say that in this particular string w, and then in this particular words array, it means W will go to each and every element of this. So let's say it will pick Naveen first from here, right? So I'll do one thing from this particular W. First of all, that we have to use what? We have to use a substring method. And then what is the beginning index? I'm saying, okay, fine, you start from 0 to 1. It means, let's see, first guy is Naveen. So 0 to 1 means, see, this is 0 and this is 1. So substring method property is that it will not take the highest index that you have given the last length that you have given it will just take between 0 to 1 means it will exclude 1 if you write 0 to 10 it will exclude 10 it will just capture the value from 0 to 9 only so that's why we are adding 0 to 1 here just give me n here so what exactly you will be getting you will be getting n over here and then this n that i'm going to store in some uh let's see a string variable let's say this is my uh you know the first letter that we have captured so I'm simple writing okay fine this one and then immediately I'll convert that to an uppercase also. So then the cap small n will be converting into a capital N. So my first letter we have captured here. After that what we have to do we have to capture Aveen also. Right. So this entire value Naveen was there with W. So what exactly I'm going to do that I simple write W dot a substring method once again. And this time I can use this method. It means you start from one. It means you start from one and up to the length of this particular string. It means you start from see this is zero and this is one. It means you start from one to the length of this particular word. Or you can write one comma w dot length minus one also that also you can write it. So I'm simple saying okay fine w dot substring that's it. And then I'm saying that this is my um, whatever the rest of the string is there like Aveen will be stored over here. So this will be let's see Aveen. Okay, and then I just want to do what in this particular result I'll do one thing the uh, result is equal to what result is equal to a result plus Whatever the first letter that you've already converted to a capital letter you write it and then you write that is your uh, rest the string that you have already captured So this guy will become what initially it is blank nothing and then this guy will give you like this marine over here with capital n actually i'll write marine here like that okay so after this for loop i'll do one thing i'll just come out of this particular for loop and i'll do one thing that i'll just print system dot uh system dot out print allen i'm saying print the value of result so let's see if i'm uh, calling this particular method with this guy is it giving you what okay so let's run it again i mean let's see so here it's giving you Naveen automation labs over here like this, right? Here you can see Naveen automation labs here. And then you can see N capital, A capital, L capital here. Okay. But if interviewer asking that, okay, no, you have to paint in the space also like this. And then only the first letter should be in capital letter. So in that way, what you can do that here, you can simply just append with one single space here like this so while creating the result and a string, just use it like that. And then you run it again. So here now you will start getting 
Naveen Automation Labs. But here, after labs, you are getting one extra space also if you see this. See this one extra space that you are getting. So what you can do here is that, uh, whatever the result I would like to return from this particular function. So I'll say, okay, fine, result dot uh, trim method that I'm going to use. And then I'm going to return. Okay, I don't want to print it over here. I'll just comment it out. This is just for the uh, practice. And then instead of void, I'm going to return a string from this function. And then I'm saying that this is my, let's see, capitalize the string. I'm going to store inside the string, not integer. And then I'm going to uh, use system dot uh, print allen. I'm just going to print caps over here. Okay, so let's see, is it really uh, working or not? Okay. So this caps should give you Naveen Automation Labs with the space and at the end you should not get any space also. So here you can see that labs, after labs is not giving you any space over here. So I'll do one thing, I really want to uh, put a space like this and uh, and then this space at the end which is coming, I'm trimming it and then removing it. Perfect. So this is the way you can write it. Couple of other checks. Uh, if somebody is asking you, okay, you have to write the uh, test cases for that. So how will you write it? Because I can pass anything over here, right? So let's see now, next time I'm passing, um, let's see only one word. I'm passing only Naveen. So obviously it should work. Let's see. So in this way, if I'm passing, okay, only Naveen, then it's saying uh, N capital over here, which is absolutely working fine. Another thing is that you can add a couple of checks over here. So first, second, I mean, another check that you can add it over here. For example, let's see if I'm passing only N, then it should give you what? Only for N, it should give you one capital N, that's it. So I'll do one thing. I can quickly check a condition here that if from this particular function, if you are getting str dot, the length of this particular string, right, is equal to equal to one. It means you are passing only one character value then you don't need to write any for loop, nothing, no need to split anything. What you simple do here is that you simple say that you return what? Whatever the str dot uh, to uppercase, you can use it here. It means you return the same uh, string with the uppercase. So immediately it will be returned. It will never come over here like this. Okay. So let's see with the small n, is it returning what? It is returning with the small n, it's returning capital N over here. This is also absolutely fine. You can put another null check also if it is equal to equal to null or something then you don't need to check all these things so null check should be the first check here so i can simple write okay fine this if str is equal to equal to a null then you do what then you simple say that uh, i'm going to return a null from here you return the same string from here you can return it or you can return the null also with the message over here that system dot our uh, print allen and then I'm saying that this is my uh, null value. Like this also you can return or you can just throw null pointer exception as well here. Okay, so some other check also you can provide it. For example, let's see what if you are passing something like this. So it's always a good uh, thing at the time of interview, give more and more test cases over here. For example, let's see if I'm passing uh, n with n then n over here like that. So let's see four n with the space separated that I'm writing. And then uh, if you really want to put a space, you can put it. Otherwise, let's see, it should give you the output like this. Capital N, then capital N, then capital N here. Okay. So let's see for this, what is the output? For this output is like that. So you're passing all small N, converting everything into capital N over here. So this is another simple uh, test case that you can pass. What if I'm passing, um, for example, uh, a numeric string value? For example, I'm passing one, two, three. For numeric string, obviously that it will not capitalize. There is no equivalent capitalized value for one, two, three. So for one, two, three with this logic, it should give you one, two, three only. Okay. So you can just simply say that it is giving you one, two, three, right? You don't need to check that. Okay. If it is having the numeric values or something, if you really want to check that, that also you can do that. But I would say, okay, for, fine for one, two, three, it will give you the exact one, two, three. That's perfectly fine. And uh, let's see, for example, if you are passing something, um, let's see with the alpha numeric uh, strings for example one two three then i'm passing test then i'm writing Naveen, then i'm writing uh, let's see automation something like that then in that case uh, let's see what is the output it is giving in that case is giving you see one two three will be say exactly like that 
but t capital n capital and then a capital here so this is also absolutely fine here okay so if you can think of other use cases also you just please modify this particular method accordingly but these are the standard cases that you have to show at a time of interview so that's all for this particular video guys i hope it's clear now how to write a simple capitalized word function and then return the capitalized a letter or capitalize a string with a space or without a space it's up to you thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all